Hey guys, it's Brooke. Welcome back to my channel. I got new glasses. Do we like them? Anyway, this vlog is gonna be a little bit different than normal. Stay for this little monologue, okay? Because I need y'all's opinion on something. So this video was supposed to be a little week in my life vlog, but the thing is when I vlog and I just do a week long, it kind of forces me to crochet every single day and it puts me in burnout really easily because some days I just don't wanna crochet, you know what I mean? But because I work all day long, I feel like I don't have any footage at the end of the week. So instead of this vlog being a week in my life, it ended up being several weeks long, essentially the entire month of July where I just recorded whenever I had yarn in my hands or I just recorded whenever I wanted to show y'all something. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna start doing this in the future. I know crochet vlogs are all the rage right now. I love them too, but I just can't feasibly record over a week long. It has to be longer because that way I won't feel less pressure to like drop everything I wanna do in crochet because sometimes I wanna play Stardew Valley or read or play Dress to Impress because I'm hooked on that right now. I think I'm gonna start doing month long vlogs like at the end of every month, do a July and August and September because that'll just be easier for me. So if that's cool with y'all, I don't know why it wouldn't be, but if it is, put a yarn ball in the comments so I know. And if it's not cool with you, I don't know, put a skull or something like that. Write that you hate me in the comments or something. So be direct so I know, because it'll just make my life easier. <laughs> Honestly, vlogging is stressful on top of my nine to five and everything I've got going on. That's all, enjoy the vlog. My partner's out of town right now, so I think I'm gonna get a lot of crochet related things done this week. So I thought, why not vlog, I guess. So I'm taking y'all along with me. It's Friday afternoon right now. And later on today, I'm going to have a Discord call with my friends because it's everyone's birthday this week. Jada has a birthday, Mags has a birthday, and then Drew has a birthday. So we're celebrating them today. And then I don't know what else I have planned, but I guess I guess y'all will see. Okay, hi, it's Saturday now. If we played a drinking game where we took a drink every time I started a vlog and then immediately forgot I was vlogging, we would be pretty drunk. Not really, I've only vlogged like twice. Anyway. Today's Saturday. I didn't film anything yesterday. I did a little FaceTime call with my friends because it's everyone's birthday. I think I said that yesterday. And then this morning I went for a little walk, cleaned a little bit, and now I'm about to film a YouTube video. It's gonna be the first video in a series that I'm dubbing Crafted and Yappin' where I craft and I yap. So yeah, that'll be fun. Hey guys, it's Brooke. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a new one. All right, finished recording this video. Here's the aftermath, just stuff everywhere. There's the project I was working on. Mess. I've got to clean up now. So just finished filming. The aftermath is pretty messy. I've got to clean up. I'm going to take a picture for the thumbnail because I keep forgetting to do that. Also, I realized I wanted to film it while I was wearing one of my makes, like the sweater I just finished, but I forgot because it's hot. Anyway, that's okay, I guess. I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the day. I think I'm going to do a YouTube live at some point, but my bum hurts from sitting down all day. So I don't know what I'll do. I just spent a good amount of time editing this. What I also realized while editing is that I filmed the entire video in the wrong setting. So I had to put a disclaimer at the front of this video saying like, sorry, I'm gonna try to cover my face up with footage as much as I can. I don't know, it's so frustrating. Anyway, um, I hope people like it anyway. It's, it's too long to refilm, so I'm not. But anyway, I'm gonna keep editing for a bit and then maybe I'll do a live. It's four o'clock now, I haven't even eaten lunch. I don't know. Filming days for YouTube like throw my entire schedule out of whack because I'll sit down for three hours and I'm not gonna get up to eat lunch or do something until it's done. Hello, it's several hours later. I really haven't done anything today. I've been playing Stardew Valley like all day long. I'm having one of those days where nothing sounds fun, you know what I mean? So I'm playing Stardew Valley to pass the time, but I don't really want to play Stardew Valley. I don't really want to crochet. I don't really want to do a YouTube live. I don't want to do any of it. So I did have fun playing Stardew Valley though, so that's good. So tomorrow I think Ophelia and I are gonna go on a little hike. I'm prepping my bag now because if I don't, I will not be going and I want to go because it's good to be outside. It's good for you. So I'm prepping the bag now. All right guys, making dinner. Doesn't it look yummy? I'm excited. No, I'm just kidding. That's not my dinner. That's what I'm making for Ophelia. Whenever we go on hikes, we always cook chicken for her because again, the wilderness, you want to over prepare. And even though her recall is really good, one wrong mistake could lead to her getting injured or worse. So we don't risk that. So we make chicken every single time because it's an extremely high value treat. So she will listen to us when we call no if and or buts about it.
Hello, it's Tuesday now. I basically rotted in bed the rest of the day after the hike. I was really dehydrated. Usually I put salt in my water before I go hiking so that I'm not running out of electrolytes. I keep my electrolytes up. But yesterday I forgot so I got home and had a huge dehydration headache. Spent the whole day drinking water and just resting. I edited a little bit of the video that y'all saw. And yeah, it's Tuesday now, it's 11.45. I had a really busy morning actually, so I'm just now eating breakfast. I just made myself some breakfast tacos. Gonna work the rest of the day, and then this afternoon, I'm going to be doing a crochet live. So, well, it's a knit live. Anyway, I'll see y'all then. I started doing these dream blankets because I have a lot of nightmares. Like, usually my ratio for nightmares is about every other day I have a nightmare, but recently it hasn't been that bad. I've had a lot more mixed dream nights, which to be fair, a mixed dream night just means I have multiple kinds of dreams and often that does include a nightmare, but it's not just a nightmare, it's progress. All right, it's now 6.45. That was a really fun live. I had a blast. I wanted to stay longer and normally I would have, but I have to go pick up a prescription today. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna take Ophelia, probably go on a little walking trail. I don't think I'll bring my camera. The trail's usually really busy and it's weird. It's weird doing this in public. I can only be so brave, so. I am now just uploading my video about my Madrid trip. Right now, trying to get as much as I can in before I go live in less than 15 minutes. Let's do it. The video is successfully uploading. I'm now eating dots before I go live because these are good. If you've never had these, the original flavor, it's the best. We've got like 10 minutes. Whenever you've got a few minutes before a live, you're like, now what? Now what? Got everything ready, got my water, got my snacks. Half the time I go live, I'm doing this, where I'm sitting here 10 minutes before, not sure what to do. And the other half, I'm sprinting around my house trying to find the project I'm gonna work on, a snack, fill up my water bottle. Oh shoot, I should fill this up. If you're curious, this is what the screen looks like right before I go live. And it's always scary because I can see myself in the camera because it's showing which camera I'm using. And I'm always afraid I'm just gonna be sitting here like stuffing my face or singing to myself or something and y'all are gonna be seeing me. Like I'm always afraid I'm accidentally live when I'm not. So I'm constantly going like that. Love the plant, thank you. I'm really happy about her because I was living in Florida and grew really quickly in Florida because it's Florida. But then I moved up here and I'm now in the north and I'm not no longer in a humid place. So I was afraid it was gonna die. So I ended up buying a moisture meter to tell me when to water it. And it's actually been growing more and more. So I'm pretty happy about it because I was thoroughly scared that I was gonna kill it. <laughs> Good morning, it is now Thursday. Yesterday I had a YouTube live. It was a blast, I had so much fun. And then after that, I went on a walk, I had dinner and then I went to bed. Oh, I played a little bit of Stardew Valley. Now this morning I woke up, went for a run and now I'm gonna work all day. Hello, it's Friday. I don't remember the last time I even filmed for this and I feel like there's gonna be no footage for the vlog and I feel like it's gonna be super short. So I wanna bake a cake. So I'm gonna bake a cake with y'all. I don't have any milk. I'm going to the store. I'm back. Today we're making a chocolate cake with chocolate ganache and chocolate buttercream because I like chocolate. Sexy. Yay! <laughs> All right, my cakes are cool enough. I'm gonna wrap them up, put them in the fridge. So it looks like after the first, like, I don't know, minute or two of mixing. You can Smooth. Okay, taste test. That's good. Check that out. Flat. So I always fill my cakes with chocolate ganache, so I guess I'm gonna do that now. I guess I'll move all this shit out of the way. So we got the cakes. They're gonna go like this. This is by far the worst looking cake I've ever made in my life. It's a little bit slanted. I would normally really cover the ends down to the base, but it's so difficult with the knife, I just can't deal. So I get so annoyed when I spend so long doing things like this and then it messes up. It makes me so mad. Anyway, cleanup time. All right, here she is, cut up, cute. Not really. Here's my lovely slice. We've got the cake, we've got the nice ganache layer, we've got the buttercream. Let's see. Mm-hmm. 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 So the conclusion is, it's great. Not my best, obviously. The buttercream's great. 
I should have let it sit in the fridge longer though because it's not cold and I love cold cake, but that's okay. So just gonna finish my slice. Probably continue to play Stardew Valley despite the fact that I should read my book. And yeah. Good morning, it is now Saturday morning. It's a time, 8.40. We're getting ready to leave because today Ophelia and I are meeting a friend at the lake and the dogs are gonna have a fun time at the lake. So pretty. <laughs> Go get it, Ophelia. <laughs> Go get it, Ophelia. You having fun? She does. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> Say hi to the people. Say hi. Okay. Hello, it is now Monday afternoon, Monday night, it's seven o'clock, whatever you want to call that. After work, I finished my cat and finished the video for it. It's horrendous. I just, there are no words. There are no words for what this is. But if you want to watch that video, it's already up on my channel. I haven't filmed the outro or the intro yet because the lighting's a little poopy right now. It's been storming for the past like 48 hours, so it's a little bit doom and gloom. So I want to wait until the lighting gets better when the weather's nice in theory tomorrow. So for now, I'm going to start editing the video. <laughs> And now I'm going to go downstairs and repot one of my plants because my Monstera is desperate to be repotted. Picked up a pot at Walmart. Maybe now my Monstera will flourish. All right, here's the pot. It's cute. I wanted the white one, but the white one was a 12 inch pot. This is a 10 inch. The current pot my Monstera is in is a six inch. Right now it's on a little rickety table. So I don't know where it's going to go once I put it in this giant heavy ceramic pot. My plants can't really go on the ground because my dog's favorite toy is this rope and she likes to whip it around and it hits things. So it, I can't have plants on the floor because she has decapitated some of the leaves in my snake plant. I just want y'all to know that this clip is on 7.7 .7 times speed because I probably sat there for 15 minutes trying to get this plant out of this pot. I mean, it was stuck in there. You'd think I had super glued it. It was because I waited too long to repot it. This was the original pot it came in. And when I got this plant, it had maybe one leaf on it. I left it in this pot for about a year. You know, mistakes were made. It's okay. You learn and you grow. It took me so long while my dog stared at me the entire time. And you could see this is what we were dealing with. I mean, the roots were rock solid. They were everywhere. And then it took me even longer to loosen the roots up up and get some of that soil out. I didn't want to repot it exactly like this. I wanted to loosen it up a bit, but this probably took me another 20 minutes of me just sitting there so much so that I went inside and changed and put shorts on because I was starting to drip with sweat because it was so hot outside and my dog gave up on asking me to play with her. So yeah, that was very fun. Here's what she looks like. I did tie her up with yarn because I didn't have any like cord or string. I feel like yarn works though. It's cotton. My only concern is the dye. I also accidentally stabbed this leaf so this leaf has an extra support right there because I, I stabbed it with the scissors while I was cutting. All right, post plant pot, plant repotting, plus post, plus post plant repotting. It's not time to make dinner. Tonight I'm making something new. I've never made it before. It's a chickpea orzo situation. <laughs> Hello, I am currently on a family vacation. Room tour, all the kids, aka 20 to 25 year olds, all sleep in this room. It's Saturday. I'm going out of the dock to read and maybe craft. TBD. This is the end of day one. I've just sat outside all day reading. I'll probably continue editing a video. My wearables crochet tries Amy Groomy because it needs to be edited desperately. I was gonna have it out tomorrow. I'm not gonna be able to anymore. So the goal is now next weekend. Good morning, it's day two. I was gonna start crocheting because I wanna work on the Vala vest and we're watching the F1 race right now, but I forgot my measuring tape at home. How am I supposed to take measurements without a measuring tape? 
Look what I found. Ikea. Thank you, Grammy. Now I can take my measurements. This is barely long enough. Wasp. Need to yours? Hello, day three of me being here on my half vacation. It's not really a vacation because I'm only taking PTO for two of the days and the rest of the time I'm working. And at night I have been working on my Vala vest. Vela, Vala, Bala, however it's supposed to be pronounced. I've been working on it a little bit. It's really cute, it's coming out really nicely. Hello, it's a Monday. I got back from my trip. Look at my braid. Layers, people. I got back from my trip on Saturday night. Yesterday, I spent the whole day unpacking, doing laundry, things like that. And then also, my partner and I just got the keys to our new house. I guess it's a house. It's a, it's a, it's a tiny home. And so I went over there, took a box, unpacked a little bit, vacuumed, did a little cleaning. I'm gonna go live on YouTube, I think, because it's been a minute and I miss everyone. Yeah. Anyway, well, why I haven't started the baby bell pillow is because I really should do a gauge before I start because ideally I would like to have an insert, a pillow insert, so that I can make a video, you know, pulling the label off and being like, oh, there's a cheese inside, but it's just a pillow, you know what I mean? So because of that, I really should make a gauge and that's why I haven't done it yet because I don't want to. So I'm not sure why that last clip wasn't the outro. It basically was the outro because it was the last clip I filmed and then I just never touched it again. I'm editing it right now and I was like, where'd the outro go? There isn't one, but I'm uploading this tomorrow. So I'm filming the outro right now. Hello everyone. <laughs> anyway, sorry this vlog wasn't the best, but you know, it happens. Got a fun video coming out next weekend. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. See y'all next time. Bye.